So my name's Julia O'Connell and I'm also known as Julia Negus in the theatre but um, I'm a textile artist living in Coventry. My work centred around people and memories. Things that kind of like don't seem important but they actually are. Things like favourite garments or your trip to work, those kind of things, I think they're actually the big moments in our lives. This particular piece of work is created from an old coat that I found in a charity shop, but inside it's, it's kind of like a book. It really um, has collected stories from people from around the world that I emailed to and said, tell me about your favourite ever garment. I have also um, was the designer for the Godiva coat with Imagineer. They created this big, huge six metre puppet and I created the coat for that. I had a team of fantastic artists with me though um, and we collected stories from around the region and basically we kind of stitched and uh, printed that onto the coat. There's quite a lot of different details. Everywhere you look on it there's like hand embroidery um, and we also did some traditional screen printing which you kind of it's quite rare to get that these days. We created, a, must have been about 25 screens and then we hand, with different designs on and that gave us the background pattern for the coat. I don't really do uh, much dressmaking as such, but they said to me, oh, can you make a coat for her? And by the way, she's gonna be about six meters tall. And so you can imagine like my work is like, usually quite kind of minute, but um, I did it. But I also had a team of fantastic artists with me, a great glass maker and different kind of textile artists as well. And basically the coat for this big, huge puppet um, told the story of all the kind of industry and manufacturing throughout the West Midlands past, but also about all the makers and crafters and different kind of artists and artisans in the city at the moment. So. Um, it was an amazing experience and um, as all, the, all the different stories from the region, all the industry heritage was all featured on the actual coat. I set up Theatre Absolute in 93, a long, long time ago with Chris O'Connell, who's the writer and director. The shopfront is the, is the UK's first professional shopfront theatre and the only one at the moment. And it's really important to a city like Coventry, which has about 350,000 people in it, growing to 400,000 over the next few years. It's important to me that we have a, a kind of theatre making space of that size in the city and not just, say, one civic theatre. There needs to be a space for emerging artists as well as supporting mid-career artists as well, where they can come and try out new work and just go, hey, I don't know if this is going to work, but, but let's give it a go. And that's what as well as our own stuff that I think we do at the shop front. So the piece is called Traum that we're doing. It's a collaboration between ourselves, Theatre Absolute, and also Moving Spaces. Um, this is Dimitar, who's one of the members of Moving Spaces. He's a choreographer and a performer and a champion experimental breaker. We created this piece called Traum, which is about new arrivals. It's about uh, anxiety, what happens when you come to a new space, a new country, that kind of idea. Then we got some funding from the Arts Council to try and see if we can extend it to 30 minutes um, so Chris has been supplying more text and he's created the soundscape so I trained as an actor in London and then I moved to Coventry uh, with Chris eons ago and we've had our family here and everything and I, I absolutely love Coventry because it is one of the most creative places I know sometimes you kind of knock your city that you're in but for me it's about the the people in the city who make it and that's why it's important that things like, uh, you know, the, I mean, I'm bound to say it, but things like the Shopfront Theatre are there, you know, the Music Museum, Fargo, those kind of spaces, because it's where people can get engaged to places like the pod. Even in times of austerity, times of difficulty, that's where actually you find a lot of creativity. And I just think, yeah, city of culture, you know, let's go for it. Let's all work together to kind of, you know, really promote Coventry in a good light. That last bit is corny, so you can cut that. <laughs>